Good morning. Friends, how are you doing today? So my name is Laura. I want to start off to let you guys know that this video is not sponsored. And I would like to talk to you about the Mary Kay products. No, I do not sell Mary Kay, so this is not benefiting me at all. But I just want to pair the Mary Kay 3-in-1 to the Guernay gel cleaner, face cleaner. So, the Guernay says it's rinse clean, no harsh rubbing. It's all for all skin types, no oils, no alcohol, and then the 3-in-1 three, three Mary Kay. Now, on top of that, I have the Mary Kay Time-Wise Aging Fighting Moisturizer. And then I got the Hip and Rose Moisturizer. And then I got the Hip Eye Cream. And I got the Mary Kay Eye Cream. So, let's get started. So... I threw on a little bit of makeup today already this morning, so I just threw it on, so sorry about the way it looks, but I really want to know exactly what's, what one's better. I personally prefer the Gourmet Cleaner, but I've always wanted to know what the big deal was with Mary Kay because everybody since I was a kid always used it. I remember mom when I was young and my grandmother always talking about Mary Kay so I decided I wonder if things are a little bit better now. Maybe if I could go ahead and just see, see which one I prefer. Now the Mary Kay cleaner the three in one cost um I believe like twenty twenty dollars or something like that maybe a little bit more so it's not that expensive but is it worth it was always my question <clears throat> so now the Gourdnay cost about seven eight bucks at Walmart so it's easier to get your hands on um, yeah, just go down to your local Walmart and it's there. Um, Dollar General, it was there. Um, I, maybe Walgreens, but to go get Mary Kay, you could order it online or find someone who sells it, but it seems like it's a little bit harder to get your hands on. So the big question is, is it worth it? So I got my rag here. I got my water in the sink. I'm just going to wet my face on this side and use the Mary Kay and like I said this is not sponsored I do not sell Mary Kay so now it's supposed to be gentle on your face Easy to take off your makeup. Okay, all my makeup there off of this side. Now we're going to rinse that side off with the clean side of the rag. Still a lot on there. But, maybe if I turn it around, man, I got a pimple from my face mask. I'm going out in public and stuff, wearing those masks. It's breaking out my face. Okay, it's all off. Now we're going to do the Gourmet on this side. Once again, we're just going to barely wet the face. I'm going to grab a clean rag for this, a different one, so I can show you. Okay. 
I need to get some more of more of this one. Okay, a looks like the grenade took off more of the makeup the first time around. And then when I rinsed it, wiped it, I haven't even rinsed it yet, but when I wiped it, it looks like it took off a lot more makeup than the Mary Kay. Okay, now we're just going to make sure it's all off. Nothing. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pat my face dry. Because you never want to rub your face. You always want to pat. So I am going to use the Hump and Rose Daytime Face Cream. And then I'm going to use the Mary Kay. I'm really sorry, sir, on this side. You see all my flaws now. Ladies, don't be too harsh on yourself. Remember, you guys are beautiful. And guys, you guys are beautiful. Now, like I said, I've been using both of these for the same amount of time. About two weeks now. Okay, eye cream. And then the Mary Kay. Now with the Mary Kay, if you do like the Mary Kay, they do have a four-in-one now. So I end up picking mine up in Maryland from a friend I met. Um, her mom sold it, so she had a whole bunch of extras, and I'm like, why not start videos and talk to you guys, and I'll give you guys my opinion about the Mary Kay. Would I go back out and repurchase the Mary Kay? I don't think I will. Um, like I said, I've been using it for two weeks. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan. I know some people love it and somebody some people swears by it, and that's amazing. If that's what you like, keep on doing it. If it's good for your face, if it's working, then awesome. But for me, I don't, I don't think I will. Um, I really don't. Now the hip and rose, I absolutely love that. I mean, I see how it like tightens, and the Mary Kay just, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I will not go out of my way, like I said, and purchase it again. Um, I will not. I don't think I'll be buying it. I'm just not a big fan. But if you are, that's that's amazing. Um, I like the way the hip and the rose tights in my face. And it just, it feels so much better. Oh, it's so much better than the Mary Kay. I think the Mary Kay is drying out my face a little bit. Now, my skin type, I have normal skin. Um, it's not oily. It's not dry. It's normal. A little bit of moisturizer and I'm good. Um, it's not breaking out my face so that's that's a plus. Um, now I do have a pimple coming right here but that's for my face mask. I don't know if anybody else is having problems with breakout with their face mask but if so let me know what you guys are doing to clear them up 
because this one is totally different. It's like underneath the skin, so it hurts. Um, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you like to see more of these type of videos. So I think that's it. By the way, my name's Laura, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Be safe out there. Be kind. Just... I think that's it. So, have a good day. Peace. Love you.